Hey guys, Dr. Deuce back again with another great music tech tip for you. Now today we're going to be looking at Logic's flex time and flex pitch functions, which I highly recommend, especially when you're doing remixes. And if you need to create harmonies, you might have a lead vocal and you want to create some really simple harmonies to go along with it, then this is the tutorial for you. Okay, so let's get started. Now for this demonstration, I've downloaded Katy Perry's Firework a cappella, which is an excellent song and will serve as a great bit of material for us to do the demonstration. Okay, now the first thing I've done is I've calculated the tempo for this track and I've set up a loop around the first eight bars of the vocal. The tempo is 124 BPM, so let me just play through exactly what we're working with. Do you ever feel like a plastic bag drifting through the wind wanting to start again? Do you ever feel, feel so paper thin like a house of cards, one blow from caving in? Do okay, cool. So we're at 124 BPM. I'm eventually going to want to take this up to 128 and then add some drums and some other bits on top in order to create a remix. The first thing I'm going to do is convert this region into a new audio file. You can see that the region that we're looking at is just a small eight bar chunk of this entire file. However, I want to split it off from the main file and create a new audio file. So to do this, I'm going to right click, click convert, convert to new audio file. The keyboard shortcut is Command Option F. Great. Now, this is going to serve as my main lead vocal, just to these eight bars. However, I need a copy or a duplicate of this that I'll convert into the vocal harmony. So, what I'm going to do is hold down the Alt key, click and drag down here, and I've just created um, a duplicate. What I need to do is convert this to a separate audio file also, which will be completely independent from the first one. So once again, right click, convert to new audio file. And this time I'm going to change this to two. Okay. So these are two completely independent audio regions or audio files. Okay. So now I'm going to double click on the harmony. And when I go in here, I need to make sure that I'm on track and not on file. Okay, so there we go. Now here, we're going to click on the flex option. Turn on flex. And right here, we're going to select flex pitch. Logic has now analyzed this vocal part and mapped the vocal out in terms of pitch. Let's create some more space on the screen by pressing I on the keyboard just to remove the inspector. And also I'm gonna go up here to view, hide local inspector to get rid of that one, okay? Now have a quick listen. Do you ever feel? Okay, now if I was to click and hold here. Now I can modify each one of these notes in the vocal part to create my own melody or harmony. Okay, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. Okay, so to help us work out the melody and harmony, I've loaded up one of Logic's piano instruments, and I've also plugged in the chord trigger, which is right here. If we were to click here, um, you'd see that you've got diff these different plugins. I've chosen the chord trigger, and I've just set it up so that you can actually see the notes I'm playing on the keyboard. Now, the other thing I've done is just isolated these first two bars of the melody. We'll work in two bar chunks um, and build things up that way. So let's get started on working out the actual melody and then working out the harmony. So let's listen to the melody again. Do you ever feel like a plastic bag? Okay, so the melody is this. Okay, now what I wanna do is create a harmony and the harmony that I'm going to create is going to be like this. So the first note in the harmony is E flat. So we're going to move this up to E flat. Click and hold here. here. Make sure you've got the hand or glove showing and drag up. Okay. And that's A flat. A 
A flat or G sharp, same thing. Okay, so let's have a quick listen to this. Do you ever? Do you ever feel? Do you ever? T sharp. Do you ever feel? Let's bring this up to T sharp as well. So we want to correct the pitch just a little bit sharp. So we're going to go to this fine pitch tuner in the middle and pull this down to here. Do you ever feel? Do you ever feel? Okay. So we're going to take down some of the vibrato as well. So if I pull this back like so. Do you ever feel? Do you ever feel? That's better. Now we want D sharp and then C. So this is C. See? Do you ever feel like a plastic bag? Do you ever feel like a plastic bag? And the last note is C. Tune it up a bit. Feel like a plastic bag. Bag is also C. Do you ever feel like a plastic bag? Do you ever feel like a plastic bag? Okay, so that's the first section. Let's move along to the next bit and let's work out what's going on here. Drifting through the wind, wanting to start again. Okay, now the harmony that we're going to create now, it will be. So the first note will be D sharp. So these, th these all of these notes will be D sharp. Drifting through the C. Okay, let's hear that. Drifting through the wind. And then C again. C. Drifting through the wind, wanting to. C. Drifting through the wind, wanting to start again. This one is C sharp. And this one is D sharp. Drifting through the wind, wanting to start again. And this one also D sharp. Drifting through the wind, wanting to start again. These Two bars. Do you ever feel feel so paper thin? Do you ever feel feel so paper thin? Pretty similar to before. So this is the melody. We're going to create. Okay. First note is again D sharp. To G sharp. Now if you move up, we want G sharp, which is there. Do you ever f All of these are G sharp. Do you ever feel? And then, which is D sharp to C. Do you ever feel 
feel so paper thin. Do you ever feel feel so paper thin? Okay, and moving along to the last bar, two bars. Like a house of cards, one blow from caving in. And the harmony will be. Okay, so we start off again with D sharp. All of this is D sharp. Let's try that. Like a house of cards. And these are C. This is C as well. Like a house of cards. C again. Like a house of cards. One blow from K. More C. C. C sharp. D sharp. Like a house of cards, one blow from caving in. Now that's the harmony all arranged. Now let's loop that up. Do you ever feel like a plastic bag drifting through the wind, wanting to start again? Do you ever feel feel so paper thin, like a house of cards, one blow from caving in? Right, not bad at all. All we need to do now is just pull the volume down and let's add some additional bits just to mask it and to sort of cover the fact that this is a manufactured harmony. What we're also going to do is speed things up a bit so that we're running at 128 BPM. So what we do is click on the main vocal because this one, this melody hasn't been flexed yet. So click here, click here. We're going to convert this to monophonic because it's just a single vocal in there. This one's already flexed to pitch. Um, and now we can adjust the tempo up to say 128 and switch this off. Okay, and the last thing I'll probably do with this is probably add a little bit of delay. Let's delay it by, let's say, yeah, shift it by that much. Do you ever feel like a plastic bag drifting through the wind, wanting to start again? Do you ever feel feel so paper thin, like a house of cards, one blow from caving in? So the idea behind this demonstration is to show you what can be achieved by using the flex pitch and flex time functions in Logic Pro, you can come up with some pretty clever techniques. This vocal, of course, was a download, so the original quality wasn't great, plus there was lots of reverb on there. However, I don't think the results were too bad, and especially when you start layering other production elements on top of what's there, it quite easily masks the fact that the harmony was actually manufactured. So I really do hope that this tutorial has been of help to you. And as always, do remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I'll be back with more. This is Dr. Deuce. Peace. Do you ever feel like a plastic bag drifting through the wind, wanting to start again? Do you ever feel, feel so paper thin, like a house of cards, one blow from caving in?